Hello future engineers, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are still new to my channel and you like what I'm doing, please don't forget to share my videos to your friends and to your friends' friends. That's one way you can keep me going, inspired and refreshed. Now, if you find my videos interesting and important to your studies, also please don't forget to subscribe. Problem 16, example 16, this is about resultant of concurrent coplanar forces, two forces here. So determine the resultant of the two forces shown below and specify the angle in standard position. Also express the resultant in vector form. So I'll solve this problem into, I'll present three solutions to this problem. And the first one should be the simplest of all. So there are only two forces, therefore, for the solution, the first force is directed towards the positive x-axis, so the x component is 110 newtons, the y component is zero. While the second force is directed up to the left, the x component is negative, so it is negative 260 cosine of this angle, and the vertical component of 260 is positive because it is directed upward. So imagine a line through, vertical line through the tip of the force downward and horizontal line rightward. So we can form a right triangle. So the horizontal component is leftward, negative 260 cosine 50. The vertical component is 260 sine of 50. So that's the first method by the component method. So therefore, Rx, because the resultant is, the magnitude of the resultant is square root of Rx square plus Ry square. So let's solve for the x and y components of the resultant. For the x component, it is equal to 110 positive, then minus 260 cosine of 50 degrees, this component of this triangle, which is leftward. So Rx is equal to negative 57.12 newtons. Then for the vertical component, which is this, it is hypotenuse to 60. 110 has no y component, it is horizontal. So 260 positive sine of 50 degrees, the opposite to 50 degrees. So hypotenuse to 60 sine of 50. That's R sub y. And it is equal to 199.2 newtons. Therefore, we can now compute the magnitude of R, which is square root of Rx squared plus Ry squared. So this is the result because Rx is negative, it is leftward, Ry is positive upward, and this is the resultant in that direction. So obviously, theta x is greater than uh, 90 degrees. It is 180 degrees minus alpha. And we can compute alpha based on this right triangle. Tangent of alpha is 199.2 over 57.12. But the magnitude is square root of 57.12 square plus 199.2 square. So the magnitude of the resultant is 207.2 newtons. Then alpha is arctan of 199.2 over 57.12. Arctan of quantity 199.2 over 57.12. So alpha is equal to 74 degrees. Therefore, Theta x is 180 degrees minus 74. 180 degrees minus 74 is 106 degrees. So it is not, the calculation is not shown here. I just mentioned 180 degrees minus 74 is 106 degrees. So that's theta x. Then in vector form, r is negative uh, 57.12 i plus 199.2 j newtons. Then for the second solution, we express each force as a vector, then add them vectorially or geometrically. So for vector one, the angle is zero degree. 
it is directed towards the positive x-axis so the angle that this force makes with the x-axis is zero degree so in vector form uh, f1 110 is 110 magnitude times quantity cosine of zero degree i plus sine zero degree j and remember sine of zero is zero cosine of zero is one so this is just 110 i while the second force is 260 quantity cosine of the angle it makes with the positive x-axis which is 180 degrees minus 50 so 130 degrees so the second force in vector form is 260 of quantity cosine 130 degrees i plus sine 130 degrees j so r is 110 i plus 0 j then the second 260 cosine 130 is negative 167.1 i then 260 sine 130 degrees j is 199.2 j combining the components i and j so we have 110 minus 167.1 is negative 57.1 i then plus 199.2 j newton switch correspondingly the x and y components of r respectively so when expressed in vector form this answer is enough this will take care of these two answers here so that's it then for the third solution or third way so let's redraw the figure and i apply parallelogram law here and use law of signs so this is the resultant then this is theta x this is also 260 from the properties of parallelogram these are parallel so 260 this angle is 50 degrees also angle between the 260 newton force and the horizontal just like this and this is 260 newtons so we can compute the magnitude of r by cosine law that is r square opposite to 50 equals sum of squares of the other sides minus twice the product of the other sides times cosine of the angle between those sides so by from cosine law r square this is theta x r square equals 110 square plus 260 square minus 2 times 110 times 260 cosine of 50 degrees so r can now be computed the magnitude is 207.2 newtons and for the angle theta x do not use sine law because unless otherwise you're thinking that the theta x is obtuse your calculator will definitely give you acute angle which is less than 90 degrees if you use your calculator and apply sine law so i suggest that you apply cosine law instead but you can only apply sine law i will apply sine law definitely because i'm anticipating that the displayed answer in my calculator will not be used it is 180 degrees minus the displayed answer in my calculator but for your case if you do not think you just apply sine law automatically then you rely on your calculator without thinking definitely your answer will be 74 degrees if you use sine law so i'll use cosine law so opposite of theta x is 26 cosine law 260 square equals 110 square plus 207.2 square minus 2 times 110 207.2 cosine of theta x so from here theta x can be solved and it is automatic 106.0 degrees then that's it for these three solutions then three ways then for your case try to solve this so almost the same but different results so show that the magnitude of the resultant is 91.65 newtons then theta x is 49.11 degrees and in vector form r is 60.00 i plus 69.28 j newtons 
So that's it for this problem.